Coach Greg Hook's men's soccer team comes away with a second consecutive victory to close out the home slate. A 2-0 win over the Jacksonville Dolphins. And, Coach, you have to be very pleased with the way your guys finished the home portion of the schedule tonight. Uh, without question. You know, this game was an important game for both teams because we were in the exact same situation. We had ex identical records in the conference. Whoever won this match automatically goes to the conference tournament. So their coach and our my – our staff were basically go telling our guys the same thing. You win this game and you go through. So both teams were playing for the same reward. And that sometimes you can react differently to that. You know, some players sort of get nervous and play poorly. Some players get nervous and play better. Obviously, a player like Marvin's the kind of guy who steps up and plays better in these types of games. And, um, you know, a lot of things went our way tonight. And that's one thing, not to make excuses that not even this year, probably the last couple of years, maybe the last two or three years, these players have had a lot of things go against us. Like we make a penalty kick save here tonight, that kind of thing, maybe everyone thinks this way. It seems like that always happens to us instead of for us. So, you know, we lost, we were beating Wofford's 2 nothing with 10 minutes to go, lose the game. Um, I can't even count on both hands the number of games we've lost with less than three or four minutes to go where we played well. So. You almost, like I said last time, you almost expect it to happen the wrong way, but now hopefully the tide has turned and maybe some things are starting to go our way. You mentioned penalty kicks and some of the crazy things that have happened to you. How about the job your goalkeep did tonight on that penalty kick and really threw out Jack Rubin with a shutout for you tonight in goal? Oh, without question. He played great. He made a couple other really big saves, but that penalty kick did a couple of saves, did a few things. Number one, when you have a PK, whether you want to admit it or not, you sort of think you're going to score a goal. So psychologically – as a team that's taking the penalty, you're thinking we're getting ready to score a goal. Everything's going to go our way. Momentum is going to swing. As a defending team, you don't want to admit it, but you're thinking we're getting ready to give up a goal. Now we got to really scrap. We, you know, it's going to be tied one to one, and within a second, all of a sudden, all that momentum and all that um, emotion completely reverses itself. And you can sort of tell after we save it. You can see how a team reacts when they miss a penalty and how a team reacts when they save a penalty, and it's, the, it's from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs and obviously vice versa. <laughs> you mentioned what this did for your team tonight. It puts you in the playoffs. We know how important it always is to make the postseason and be in the conference tournament. But what does it mean specifically to your team to know going into the final weekend that they are going to have a little extra soccer in 2014? Yeah, it's big. We – when we were a Division II team, our goal was always to get to the NCAA tournament. That was what we set our – that's where we set our goals to begin the year. At the Division I level, you know, the first couple of years we weren't even eligible, we haven't had that kind of success. So what's almost become our barometer has been getting into the conference tournament. We've gotten into the conference tournament now two out of the last three years. So we're obviously, I feel, going in the right direction. It allows you to play a little bit more freely. All we're playing for now is, well, pride, which is obviously very important, and a seating. So now we get to go down to Gulf Coast knowing that we're in. Um, we, can, we can go down there now and just all we can do is improve our lot in the tournament. But, you know, getting in the tournament, I said it before, is critical. There's such a good conference in terms of top to bottom. Everybody's pretty equal. So getting in the tournament, you have to get in it to win it. So, um, you know, but for, I'm so happy for the players. This last year was such a disappointing year for so many of these guys. We had several losses in a row that were just almost um, frustrating to the point of wanting to make you pull your hair out. And then to have a little bit of success, it, it's, it kinda, it's very rewarding. Not for me necessarily because I don't run up and down the field. For the players to put all the effort in, to keep believing in what we're telling them and to actually have it work out is, um, is, is really important. Amazing accomplishment for your team tonight, and now the real work begins. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks so much. You can keep up with all the future activities of this men's soccer team and that tournament run at UpstateSpartans.com.